DZH here from Big Zach's house. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Lego Marvel Infinity Saga Iron Man Armory set number 76216 at 496 pieces. This set is priced at $89.99, basically $90. Retail available at the Lego store as well as Amazon. I will post an affiliate link for this set if you're interested in picking this up from Amazon based on my review or just because you like it. Please feel free to use the link in the description as well as pinned comments to pick a set up and help support the channel. Free to you and helps the channel. We're not monetized, so it goes a long way. So first up, um, this is the set laid out here on the table. We're going to go over the box really, really quick. The manual really, really quick. Then I'll give you a brief overview of the set and let you know what I think. Try not to make this a super long review, but I want to make sure that you see all the different details here. So step one, just looking at the box here. So again here, I just got some of the things here, all the different minifigures. You got three, four, five, six, seven, eight separate minifigures here, and then some random parts showing you some of the play features in the front of the box here. And then the back just showing you kind of what you can do with the scene. I will say I'm not a fan of the box because there's one of these ones that you had to like rip open like this. I prefer to just do like the side cutoff. So I'm just gonna trash this box. I usually keep all my boxes, but we're gonna trash this one for that purpose. And just the different Marvel stuff here on the side. So no big deal. Here's the box, pretty decent box. All right, I do like the back actually better than the front. Gives you a brief overview of all the different things, just how you wanna lay everything out. So now we will move on to the manual real quick. All right, taking a look at the manual here. This is another white manual. I don't th really think I care for this. Like some of the other ones here, you can scan the front of it there if you'd like to do it in a digital way on your phone or a tablet or whatnot. There are four bags here to complete the set. First you do the car and all the little mini figures here and we'll skip to the back here and show you how many steps there are. All right, so it looks like here, then looking at the manual, there are a total of 76 steps to get to the last page there. And then it shows you the complete set, kind of some of the things, how you could lay out the different pieces inside the armory. And then the last pages here just shows you the other Marvel sets that are out. We have 76216 and 76217 I Am Groot. I do have a speed build for I Am Groot. And we have a speed build for this set. And we should have a review for I Am Groot as well. I think I put that out more recently. And then we're also going to do the 76206. We're going to get the Iron Man set out there. So this is the manual. Nothing too special. Piece count in the back. But I just wanted to see how, you know, how it's laid out. I do save all the manual, so I'm going to trash the box and definitely be holding on to the manual. Okay, taking a look at the set. So as you can see, this set has one like primary build here in the back where you can put all the uh the minifigures and different pieces, and then it has a car. Um, and then it has all these little mini pieces and little mini builds. I'm personally not the biggest fan of having all these little builds. So I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of these things and not keep these on display and just kind of hold on to this itself and then the minifigures and I'll just toss the rest of stuff in like a bag or something. Uh, not the biggest deal here. So first I wanna show you the uh, all the different little pieces here. So, so we have this little piece here. You get a little Iron Man helmet. Just It's like his little workshop armory. It does have a little clear blue head in there and it sits on a little display shelf like that. And then have a little different things here, like a little workbench table type thing going on here. Yeah, you know, it's a neat little build. It's just not for me. I particularly don't like holding on to those little things. And this is this is a neat little build here. It's got another little workbench here, a little storage cabinet. These little things do open up here. And obviously you have your wrenches and different things. And a little Iron Man mini mini figure type thing. I forget what they're actually called here. A micro mini figure or something here but the little lamp right here so it's a little it's a neat little build it's just uh it's not for me and honestly i look more for display sets rather than anything else and just another little piece here they actually have a pretty similar piece like this in the uh the, the iron man mech like the ucs version of that so uh, like i said it's a neat little build i just don't plan on holding on to all those things Again, another little mini build here with, that's pretty cool. Uh, it has like the half, you know, the, the suit just kind of as he's building it. So I think that was pretty neat. These are the clear pieces. They have stickers and there's two of these that have stickers as well. I'll show you the car. 
I do like the car. Definitely will hold on to this. Put this on the display shelf. Show you all sides of it. Start two on the license plate. And there are three of these. I actually think this is from one of the, I forget which movie it's from. I thought it was Iron Man 3, possibly, where he, um, or maybe it's Iron Man 2, where he replaces his, um, like his battery pack in his chest and he's out driving in the car to go meet Nick Fury for the first time. So pretty neat. I do like the car. That's my favorite thing here. Then there's this little display stand. Um, this is part of the, obviously, the builds. I actually might keep this for future videos just to display the minifigures. So I do like this. So I'll be holding on this and putting it on this. I'll just be using this for things, honestly. And then the last big piece here is obviously going to be the display. This is like the second version of this because they did have um, an Iron Man's Armory. Just there was a previous set where you had something similar to this. So you can buy multiples of these sets and connect these and like go all the way around in a circle, which is pretty neat. I do have the other set. I have two of them sealed in the box. I haven't built it yet. So I'll keep this. This is what I'm going to keep on display. And as you see, there's some, some stickers on this one, stickers on that one. And off to the side here, you can actually swap out this one and you can put it in. I just chose the other one, so I didn't particularly use this one. But you can get any number of the ones. And then I have his little legs right here from an unbuilt you know mech or whatever so this is what it looks like going all the way around it was pretty monotonous build you just built the same thing eight times unfortunately but this is a pretty cool little display i would say i'll probably get another one just to kind of build this around and put it in a circle or whatever and now i'll just quickly move on to the minifigures and let you know what i think about the set okay so the first figure we have here is whiplash i want to say he is the uh the villain in the second Iron Man, the guy who has like this, the real long hair, who he feuds with, who builds a suit. Uh, so I see, I've, I've seen the movie. I just don't remember all the different pieces, but he's pretty cool. Let's show you his uh, face here real quick. And said, I don't want to make it a super long inter or, um, review, but he does have two face, Pete, you know, Prince. So I actually like this figure. This might be my favorite figure in the set. I like his his suit, and I like you know the little touch here from this. And we'll just quickly keep moving on to each each figure. So I'll move on to uh, to Potts here. So not not a bad figure. I like the uh, the costume here. Go all the way around. See the back. See all the you know leg printing and torso printing. We'll see if she has two faces. Yep. So she has two face prints. I always like having the the two face prints here. And then her hair piece is pretty accurate to the uh, to the movies. So get that back on there. And then next up we have Tony Stark, without having his Iron Man costume on or whatever his uh, his suit. It's actually a pretty cool figure too. I really like this. And we'll see as we turn around. He has two different face prints, so I think you could actually take the one helmet that is separate and you could pop this on him if you'd like. I don't know why you would do that, but it doesn't have the full full body, but I do like the uh, the Tony Stark minifigure here. And I don't think there's many figures out there with just, just Tony Stark. All right, move on to the next one. So this, I thought this was, um, yeah, it's War Machine, that's what I thought, because there's, there's a bunch of different figures here. Yep, so this is, uh, this is War Machine. So it's pretty, I don't think I had a War Machine minifigure here. So I do like this. You can see the all different printing here. I, I love these like Iron Man minifigures and War Machine. They're pretty neat. Like War Machine only has one, one face print that's kind of kind of disappointing. I always like to have the two for some reason. I know I say it in every single video, but uh, I like that too. Now we have Nick Fury here. I This is my first Nick Fury minifigure. So I was happy to add this to the collection here. Let's pop his uh, hair piece off here. Only one, only one face print, unfortunately. I guess that kind of makes sense though because you have to find a way to get his eye patch. It'd be kind of difficult to do that having two face prints, but cool figure. I, I love all the figures in this set, honestly. So as I go through 
the last couple figures here, I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think about the set in and of itself. So for $90, I personally think that it's a little on the high side on, from a price point, honestly. I don't like to say that, that, I don't like to say, oh yeah, there's only 500 pieces and it's $90. I don't think that's fair given there's large pieces, there's a clear blue pieces. So there's th definitely pieces that cost more money for Lego to put out there. So I don't think it's fair to say that, yeah, this is 20 cents per piece or whatever the case may be. You get a ton of minifigures here. You, def you get nine minifigures in different pieces. This is a clear blue head here for this one because this is just... Um, this figure, technically his name is the Iron Man MK25 suit. So this is actually pretty cool minifigures. I really like, I like all the minifigures in the set, honestly. So we'll do Iron Man next and then we'll, we'll close this down. So I think this set is worth picking up. I would maybe wait for it to go on sale, but I think the minifigures are too hard to pass up. For me, this set is all about getting the minifigures over anything else. Definitely not worth it for the build, but if you're looking for the minifigures, I definitely think it's worth it. I like the car, I like the little display, all the little mini builds I could go without, but I know that you have to have those for Iron Man's armory, obviously. Uh, so this last figure here, again, this is just the uh, Iron Man MK85 costume, and then there's the Iron Man MK3 costumes. There's quite a few different costumes here. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I definitely need a set's worth picking up. This, uh, I will have, again, an Amazon affiliate link below if you're interested in purchasing this set and help support the channel. Uh, it's free to you and helps support me. So please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.